Arbitron has been acquired by Nielsen and Comscore under the terms of that acquisition have access to this data for eight years. What, what do you think is going to happen then? Well, eight years can be both a long time and a short time uh, in the media business uh, and it was in the terms of the consent decree uh, that this, this pertains to uh, Comscore will only be able to license these P the PPM data for, for eight years and I think they're assuming and I can't completely speak for them, but I think they're assuming that uh, technology will move along at such a rapid pace that there will be alternatives to the PPM data by the time that licensing agreement um, expires. I mean, just one example that you could kind of project out into the future already is the data that's coming from smart TV uh, sets and uh, companies like Cognitive Media already have, you know, a few million uh, sets providing data back to them and they're coming up with interfaces such that when you when you set up your television the first time you indicate who's in the household and even then when the sets turned on each time they could have a, a prompt as to who's in front of the set so that you could uh, add the individual demographics in um, also with all of the developments in smartphone technology and fingerprinting technology on smartphones, automatic content recognition technology on smartphones, there's an individual device similar to a PPM that can uh, indicate which person is in front of the set at that time. Uh, <clears throat> so um, I think Comscore is assuming that the technology will develop to such an extent, you know, that we'll all be wearing Dick Tracy wristwatches that uh, let uh, everybody know everything about us, including our heart rate and what we're watching and how we feel. <laughs> so I, they don't perceive that, um, you know, it will be a problem for the service in eight years. Sim has been very involved in Project Blueprint. Why, why this particular project? Well, the role of Sim is to, you know, nurture solutions for cross-platform development from wherever they can come in the industry, small companies, big companies. And uh, it's a perfect, uh, you know, petri dish to um, uh, further, further develop and test out and, and discuss and review and vet uh, these new, um, you know, cross-platform measurement products that are in development. And so you get the smartest people in the industry on both the buy side and the sell side who try it out and see what they come up with, compare, contrast, see if we're covering everything. You know, it gives a really nice um, review process to, to, to then uh, vet a new service. And, and that's what Sim's all about. And so we're really happy to be finally working on you know, a, a real cross-platform measurement service that, um, you know, could ultimately come to the market one day.